couple things from me before I go out for my run and stare menacingly at any of the masked perverts. I can see two of them right now. Hmm, they're lucky I'm not down there. Uh, masked perverts walking around in the open air with their masks on here in Beverly Hills. I had to teach a few people in Starbucks a lesson yesterday. Um, but firstly on Nikki Graham, um, who we've sadly lost to anorexia and the lockdown. She was one of the best of celebrity big brother uh, housemates ever because she went in at a time when it wasn't about trying to be liked or people trying to get a bloody slot on Strictly Come Dancing or whatever. She just went on in there, balls to the wall and said what the bloody hell she liked. <laughs> what a top bird. And the truth of what's not being said is that she died because of lockdown. She died because lockdown meant she could no longer be in control of her life in the way that she needed to be. And clearly she had a lot of things going on. But as her mother rightly said, spending last year cancelling down her holidays, her chances to see her friends, the inability to go to gyms, that's what led to the end of her life. And I wonder why it is we don't have the BBC reporting deaths due to lockdown. Deaths due to lockdown in the last 28 days. After all, they were so keen to tell us how many people had died from COVID who tested positive to COVID 28 days ago. But where are the deaths from cancer due to lockdown? Why does nobody want to be honest about the fact that Nikki died because she could no longer control her life because of bloody lockdown when there's no damn cases in the UK? OK, second thing, bloody Farage and him gobbing off about the princes and their personal life and trying to speak as if he speaks for Britain. We're very grateful to you, Nigel, that you got Brexit, but that will do now, son. All right, those boys, Prince William, Prince Harry, what do I know? All I know is that both of them just need a mum. And sometimes with hurt and sadness, it comes out in the wrong way. So instead of cuddling people, we punch them instead. And it seems like a little bit that's what the boys are doing. I think they just need their mum. They need to come back and make up, like John Major said and they need to put this all behind him. And I think Prince Harry ultimately probably just misses his family, misses his mum, misses his brother. And he was the best of us. He was always my favorite prince. So my message to Prince Harry is come on back to the family. It's a shame about trailer trash, leave her there and come on back to the people who love you the most. Anyway, I just wanted to say those couple of things because I felt like they're not being said, maybe because people don't have the balls to say them or maybe because they're old has-beens who are washed up and um, can no longer see the kindness. Uh, so come home Prince Harry and to all friends and supporters of Nikki, um, I'm really very sorry for your loss.